Next on a special edition of BGSU Brain Game, we've called in the Army. Sort of. It's the Army ROTC of Bowling Green State University versus the Army ROTC of the University of Toledo. Which one will come away with warrior bragging rights? It's only one way to find out. BGSU Brain Game, the Combat of Knowledge edition, starts right now. Welcome to BGSU Brain Game, the combat of knowledge. The University of Toledo Army ROTC versus Bowling Green State University Army ROTC. Let's meet our teams. Toledo, tell us who you are, your class distinction, and your commander. All right, I'm Cadet Tom Williams. I'm an academic junior at the University of Toledo, and I'm accompanied by two sophomores. I got Stone Zimmerman and uh, Austin Andre with me. All right, Bowling Green, tell us who you are. Hi, I'm the team captain. My name is John. Um, I have a junior over here to my right. His name is Troy. And I have a sophomore over here. His name is Jonah. All right. Welcome to both teams. We're going to start things off with our toss-up round. All the questions in this round are worth 10 points. There's no deduction for an incorrect answer. So buzz in. Have some fun in this round. Uh, you may confer before buzzing in, but not after. And you can steal a question in this round. So Toledo, Bowling Green, are you ready? Let's yes. Do it. All right. Let's start the toss-up round right now. The Army is one of how many uniformed services of the United States? Tom from Toledo. Four. Uh, that would be incorrect. Bowling Green, do you want to steal? Yes, we do. Okay. Five. That's also incorrect. The correct answer is seven. Correct answer is seven. Okay. The Department of Defense was created shortly after World War II. What two departments did it replace? Okay, time on that. The answer is the War Department and the Navy Department. Okay. On Army installations, there are three different sizes of U.S. flags flown. The post flag, the garrison flag. What's the third flag? The correct answer is the storm flag. The storm flag. Who within the Army was credited for pioneering its use of modern guerrilla warfare during the Revolutionary War? Uh, John from BGSU. Would that be Francis Marion? That is correct, Francis Marion. All right. Who sets the time of sounding reveille and retreat on a military installation? Tom? The garrison commander. Base commander, installation commander, that is correct. Before World War II, the Army's 45th Infantry Division wore a swastika patch on their left shoulders to honor Native Americans. What did they replace the swastika with? Correct answer is a Thunderbird. Okay. Salutes are not rendered in three areas. Indoors, when engaged in a sporting event or outside training, what's the third? And that would be uh, Tom from Toledo. In a combat area? Uh, that's incorrect. Bowling Green, would you like to steal? Yes, we'd like to steal. Okay. In a training area? That's also incorrect. The correct answer is when operating a vehicle. When operating a vehicle. Okay. Who chose the Army's dress colors? John from Bowling Green. Chief of Staff of the Army. Don't think we can accept that, no. Toledo, would you like to steal? Uh, sure, we'll steal with the uh, Sergeant Major of the Army. Uh, that's also incorrect. The correct answer would be George Washington. Oh. George Washington, the original. Yeah, there we go. Going back a little before all of our <laughs> times. Okay. Okay. What rank typically commands a platoon? Okay. Tom from UT? That would be a uh, first lieutenant or a second lieutenant. We'll accept that. Yeah, the answer is a second lieutenant. Okay. According to ADP 6-22, there are three levels of leadership, strategic, organizational, and what's the third? Okay, the correct answer, I'm sorry, that didn't get in in time, did it? No, the correct answer is direct. Direct would be the answer there. 
The Army song is always played at the conclusion of three events, honor guard ceremonies, parades, what's the third? And that would be John from BGSU. Uh, military balls? Nope. Toledo, would you like to try and steal? Sure, we'll try ceremonies. No, okay, judge says no. Correct answer would be reviews, reviews. When walking or sitting next to someone that is senior to you, which side should you be on? That would be Tom from UT. To the left and slightly behind. That is correct. Okay. Enlisted members generally do not exchange salutes with two exceptions. Name one of the two exceptions. And that would be John from Bowling Green. Um, a board? A review board? That's correct. The other one would have been when rendering reports in formation. All right. What rank falls between, oh, and that's the end of the round. Let's take a look at our scores, and the score is UT with 30 and Bowling Green with 20. Stick around, our head-to-head -head round with 15 questions is coming up next. Welcome back to the special edition of BGSU Brain Game. We've had a change in the score as a result of the challenge, so the teams are tied. Uh, Toledo won the coin toss. They have chosen to go first in the head-to-head -head round. So our score is 30-30 to 30 with Bowling Green and Toledo. So we're going to move to the head-to-head -head round. In this round, both teams will get the same 15 questions, and they are worth 10 points apiece. There is no, direct, no, excuse me, no deduction for an incorrect answer. You may confer before and after buzzing in. Remember, though, the clock ticks in this round, continues to go. You have two minutes and 30 seconds. If you pass a question, we will not come back to that question. So the way isolation works in the head-to-head -head round, one team will stay. That will be Toledo, and the other team will be set off. What that means is since Toledo is leading, you will be sticking around. Bowling Green will send you off to isolation. All right, Toledo, are you ready for your 15 head-to-head -head questions? Let's do it. All right. The round for you starts right now. Who succeeded George Washington as Commander-in-Chief? Pass. Pass. Who is the current Secretary of Defense? No. Pass. Okay. Operation Desert Shield in 1990 was a Gulf War operational buildup in what country? Okay. Kuwait. Uh, that's incorrect. Correct answer was Saudi Arabia. Okay. After the September 11th attack in 2001, what country did the U.S. invade in response to that attack? Yes. Afghanistan. Afghanistan is correct. During the 2003 invasion of Iraq, the United States, along with three other countries, invaded Iraq. Name two of the other three countries. Uh, Great Britain and Canada? Um, incorrect. United Kingdom, which would have been Great Britain, Australia, and Poland. Who was the first female Army officer who obtained the rank of general? Pass. How many versions of the Medal of Honor are there? Yep. Two. Incorrect. The answer is three Army, Navy, and Air Force. How was the Army Chief of Staff selected? He's uh, nominated and then confirmed in Senate. Okay, we can accept that? Okay. Before it became Arlington National Cemetery, who owned the property? Pass. Who was the Army's last general of the Army? That is, a five-star general. Yep. General Eisenhower? Um, incorrect. Omar Bradley. In the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, Lieutenant General Russell L. Honore was the commander of Joint Force, excuse me, Joint Task Force Katrina. What was his famous nickname? Pass. He was known as the Ragin' Cajun. An E-6 is a staff sergeant in the Army. What's an E-6 in the Navy? Yes. Uh, petty officer? Correct. An E-5 is a sergeant in the Army. What's an E-5 in the Air Force? I believe it's a tech sergeant? No. Correct answer would be staff sergeant. Yep. 
that's the end of the round. Okay, so what we'll do is it's time for Toledo to head off to isolation. Let's bring back in Bowling Green. Bowling Green, are you ready for your 15 head-to-head -head questions? We are. All right. The rounds for you starts right now. Who succeeded George Washington as Commander-in-Chief? Yes. Uh, John Adams. John Adams is correct. Who is the current Secretary of Defense? Don't know. <laughs> okay, okay you're going to pass? Yeah, yeah pass. Okay, all right. Operation Desert Shield in 1990 was a Gulf War operational buildup in what country? Kuwait. Yes. Um, incorrect. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. After the September 11th attack in 2001, what country did the U.S. invade in response to that attack? Yes. Afghanistan. Afghanistan's correct. During the 2003 invasion of Iraq, the U.S. along with three other countries invaded Iraq. Name two of those three countries. I'm going to say the United Kingdom and uh, Jordan. Incorrect. You had one of them. United Kingdom, Australia, and Poland. Who was the first female Army officer to obtain the rank of general? Pass. The correct answer is Anna Mae Hayes. How many versions of the Medal of Honor are there? Ooh. Go for it. Go. Yes. Three. Three, that's correct. Army, Navy, and Air Force. <laughs> How was the Army Chief of Staff selected? Yes. Does that come down from the President itself? Or? Okay. It'll be, yeah. The correct answer will be nominated by the President and confirmed by the Senate. Okay, all right. Before it became Arlington National Ceremony, excuse me, before it became Arlington National Cemetery, who owned the property? Yes. General Robert E. Lee. That is correct, Robert E. Lee. Who was the Army's last general of the Army? That is, a five-star general. Yes. Dwight D. Eisenhower? Um, incorrect. The answer is Omar Bradley. In the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, Lieutenant General Russell L. Honore was the commander of Joint Task Force Katrina. What is his famous nickname? Pass. Correct answer is the Ragin' Cajun. An E-6 is a staff sergeant in the Army. What's an E-6 in the Navy? Mm, man. Yep, that's the end of our correct answer there was Petty Officer First Class. Okay, that's the end of the head-to-head -head round for Bowling Green. It's time to clear our scores and we'll bring back in Toledo. It's now time to reveal our scores to our teams. University of Toledo ROTC has 60 points and BGSU ROTC has 70 points. Coming up is our category round where things can change extremely quickly. Questions are worth up to 30 points apiece. And in this round, deductions begin. That starts in this round. So stick around for the category round. Welcome back to BGSU Brain Game, the combat of knowledge. And our score, as we stand, is heading for the category round, is the University of Toledo 60 and Bowling Green 70. It's time for the category round. There are six categories to choose from. Inside each category are questions worth 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 points apiece. However, remember in this round, deductions start for an incorrect answer. So whatever the point value is, if you answer incorrectly, we deduct that from your score. Once again, you can confer before buzzing in, but not after. And again, in this round, you can steal a question. Okay. Toledo, you were at 60 points. You get to make the first selection. We'll do uh, name that state for 10. The category is name that state. I will give you the Army installation. You tell me what state it's in. Fort Devens. Correct answer is Massachusetts. Okay, Toledo, you still have the board. 
All right, we'll name that state for 15, please. Fort McCoy. Correct answer is Wisconsin. Toledo, you still have the board. All right, we'll name that state for 20, please. White Sands Missile Range. Yes, Toledo. That'll be New Mexico. New Mexico is correct. You still have the board, Toledo. All right, we'll do name that state for 25, please. Anniston Army Depot. Correct answer is Alabama. Toledo still has the board. All right, we'll name that state for 30, please. Rock Island Arsenal. Illinois. Toledo still with the board. Yes. Presidents. All right, we'll do uh, presidents for 10, please. Presidents for 10. I will give you a military fact about a president. You give me the name of that president. This future president, upon receiving the surrender that he requested, ordered his men to stop all celebrations and famously stated, the war is over, the rebels are our countrymen again. And that would be John from Bowling Green. Ulysses S. Grant. That is correct. Bowling Green, you have the board. Uh, presidents for 15, please. This future president resigned as Under Secretary of the Navy to form the first U.S. Volunteer Cavalry Regiment known as the... John Bowling Green. President Theodore Roosevelt. That's correct. You have the board, Bowling Green. Presidents for 20. This future president won the Battle of New Orleans, not knowing that the Treaty of Ghent. President John Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson. You still have the board. Presidents for 25. This person is known as our last Civil War veteran to serve as President of the United States. Who was he? John Bowling Green. President William McKinley. That's correct. Bowling Green still in control of the board. Presidents for 30. This future president obtained a field commission to captain during World War I and was also known to be our last president without a college degree. John Bowling Green. President Harry S. Truman. That's correct. You still have the board. That decade for 10. That decade for 10. I will give you a military campaign. You tell me what decade that it happened in. Operation Infinite Reach. Correct answer is the 1990s. Bowling Green still with the board. Um, what do you got? I'll skip in the decades. That decade for 15. That decade for 15. Operation Power Pack. God. Yeah. 1960s. Bowling Green still with the board. Um, that decade for 20. We'll give it a shot. Operation Frequent Wind. Correct answer is the 1970s. Bowling Green still in control of the board. You want to try something else? Well, let's try something. Yeah, okay. Um, let's do, who said that for 10? Who said that for 10? I will recite a famous military quote. You tell me who said it. Don't fire until you see the whites of their eyes. Correct answer is William Prescott. William Prescott. And Bowling Green, you still have the board. That's not us for 10. That's not us for 10. Answer these questions from the other branches of the military. What's another name for naval infantry? And that would be Troy from Toledo, excuse me, Tom from Toledo. The Marines. Marines is correct. Toledo, you have the board. We'll do that's not us for 15, please. This World War II officer was born and raised in Fredericksburg, Texas, and was instrumental in turning the tide against the Japanese at Midway. Who was this naval officer? The correct answer is Admiral Chester Nimitz. Toledo still has a board. We'll do That's Not Us for 20, please. Okay. Which military branch has their academy in New London, Connecticut? That would be John from Bowling Green. Um, is it the Coast Guard? Coast Guard is correct. Bowling Green, you have control of the board. Um, who said that for 15? Who said that for 15? 
It is foolish and wrong to mourn the men who died. Rather, we should thank God that such men lived. That's a good quote. I wish I knew who said it. <laughs> Correct answer is George S. Patton. George S. Patton. And Bowling Green, you still have the board. Um, let's try Famous Cadets for 10. Famous Cadets for 10. I will give you a clue about a former Army ROTC cadet. You give me that cadet's name. This ROTC graduate used his unmistakable voice to give audio life to Star Wars villain Darth Vader. James Earl Jones. John, oh, John from Bowling Green, James Earl Jones, that's correct. Remember to let me uh, recognize you before you buzz in. You still have the board, Bowling Green. Um, we'll do famous cadets for 15. This ROTC cadet used his business skills in retail from Bentonville, Arkansas to become the richest man in the country from 1982 to 1988. Correct answer is Sam Walton. Sam Walton. And Bowling Green, you still have the board. Famous cadets for 20. Famous cadets for 20. This ROTC graduate held the position of chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff during Operation Desert Storm and later became Secretary of State from 2001 to 2005. Tom from Toledo. Oh, I know what to. It's terrible. Okay. The that's the end of the round. The correct answer was General Colin Powell. General Colin Powell. Okay, that's the end of the uh, category round. Let's take a look at our score. And the score stands right now. The University of Toledo ROTC with 70 and Bowling Green State University ROTC with 200. Coming up is our brainstorm round with questions worth 20 points each. So stick around for that. Welcome back to BGSU Brain Game, the combat of knowledge. Our score as we head into the brainstorm round is UT70 and BGSU200. Uh, BGSU, you have a new player. Please introduce your new player. Um, so this is Joe. Uh, he's a junior currently. Okay. All right. This is the brainstorm round. Questions are worth 20 points. And again, in this round, an incorrect answer means you get a negative 20 points. You may confer before buzzing in again, but again, not after. There is no stealing in this round. Okay, so Toledo, Bowling Green, are you ready for the brainstorm round? Oh yeah, let's do it. Okay, here we go. The brainstorm round starts right now. What's the name of the official Army song? Uh, Tom from UT. The Army Goes Rolling Along. The Army Goes Rolling Along is correct. Structure of the Army. What is above a platoon, but below a battalion? And that would be uh, Troy from Bowling Green. Company. Company is correct. Structure of the Army. What's above a battalion but below a division? Tom from UT. Be a brigade. Excuse me? A brigade. Brigade is correct. On what basis are Army ROTC scholarship winners chosen? John from BGSU. Uh, based on academics and physical fitness test. We'll, take, we'll accept that answer. Okay. All right. What was the highest rank that James T. Kirk obtained from Starfleet Command? And that would be John from BGSU. He was Captain James T. Kirk, but he probably got higher. Um, is that okay. wrong? That would be incorrect. Yeah, the correct answer would be Admiral. Correct answer would be Admiral. So, yeah. Okay. What is the first and last line of the Soldier's Creed. John from BGSU. Um, um, I'm an American soldier. Nope, not quite in. You, you're correct, but you didn't get in in time. You're right. I am an American soldier. Okay. The Army is the oldest military branch in the United States. What's the youngest? Uh, Tom from UT. The Space Force. Space Force is correct. Who was the commander of the American forces at the Battle of Fallen Timbers in 1794? Uh, John from BGSU. Uh, Anthony Wayne. That's correct. What major conflict saw the majority of officers on both sides be West Point graduates? John from BGSU. The Civil War. Civil, Civil War is War. correct. 
What was the longest and bloodiest war between the United States and Native Americans in the 1800s? John from BGSU. Would it be the Sioux War? Uh, that would be incorrect. The correct answer is the Second Seminole War from 1834 to 1844. Name the Chief of Staff of the Army during World War II who selected nearly all the senior army. John from BGSU. General George C. Marshall. That's correct. When is the Army's birthday? John from BGSU. June 14, 1775. Correct. What technological innovation proved itself during the Battle of La Drang in 1965? John, BGSU. The Huey helicopter. That's correct. And okay, there we go. That's the end of our round. Let's take a look at our score. We have UT with 130 points and Bowling Green with 280. That means Bowling Green, you are the winners of the inaugural Combat of Knowledge Challenge. Let's give both teams a big round of applause. And in the spirit of good sportsmanship, let's all join here in the middle and shake hands. So let's give our teams a spin around. Stick around, the trophy ceremony will be coming up next. Welcome back to the inaugural BGSU Brain Game Combat of Knowledge, a well-played game between BGSU and the University of Toledo. We are here with our champions, the Army ROTC of Bowling Green State University and their big competitors from the University of Toledo. It's time to award the championship trophy to our winning team. Uh, here to hand me that trophy at the Combat of Knowledge is Laverne Gherkin of VFW Post 6596, the sponsors of this trophy. So congratulations to Bowling Green State University, our inaugural winner in the BGSU Brain Game Combat of Knowledge. So join us again next year for the Bowling Green State University Brain Game Combat of Knowledge.